Hey, this is David and William from the Shepherd School, and today we're going to make us a non-electric refrigerator uh, called a Zierpot. And basically, it just uses um, evaporation to cool the, these two terracotta pots and some sand to cool it down. And we should get a couple, about 20 degrees or so difference. Depending on the humidity, you can get more of a difference to the outside ambient air temperature and the temperature inside this small pot, okay? So, uh, I know these pots look kind of dirty. They're actually brand new, but I bought them a while ago when I had them on sale, or I've seen them on sale, but they've been sitting outside waiting on my nephew to come for the summer to help me out. All right, now let me show you what we're gonna do. Now you need to get two terracotta non-glazed pots that nest inside each other, okay? If you've got like, if this is like, say a size three, this is a size one, you know, so you've got a size in between difference, to get a little bit of room and then I've just got some play sand all right now the problem is though we're gonna fill this up with sand and if you see there's a hole in the pot and that's gonna have the sand to leak out so I've just got some duct tape and I'm just gonna put duct tape in the hole and it's not gonna be perfect it's not gonna stick perfect but the weight of the sand is going to uh, kind of hold it down. So I've just got some play sand here from the hardware store. It was like $2.50. And we're just going to scoop it out with this mason jar. Here, hold that up, buddy. The idea is, no, oh, that's about perfect, ain't it? So there it is. It's sitting there. Pretty level, okay, and now we're just going to scoop our sand and pour it and fill it up down down the insides, okay? You want to start filling that up there, guys? Yeah. Sure, You want to kind of make sure you fill it up sort of evenly because it's going to press on the uh, sides of the jar a little bit. We don't want to knock it off center. That's, that's why when we fill it up with our fingers for we could just smear it around the edge. Exactly. There you go. Keep it out of the... Oops. I think it'll be okay. Somehow I don't think that the ancient peoples that invented this had duct tape anyway. What do you think? I do think they had um, pots that had no holes in the bottom. You know, they probably did. All right, so there's our finished ear pot. Now what we're going to do is take this bucket of water and wet this sand. I have also have a towel and we're going to wet the towel and put over the top. Then I'm going to take my brewing thermometer because I can't find my candy thermometer. I'm going to put it in there and we're going to see what the temperature difference is. How much cooler do you think it will be inside the pot than outside the pot? Inside the pot, probably more cooler because there would be less hot air getting to it because out here it's hot and okay. outside probably warm. Well, we'll have to see. And our thermometer reads 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's outside temperature is about 90 degrees. I'm going to take us some water. Get the towel. What time is it? It's 2.53 now. Alright, we'll come back in about 30 minutes and see uh, what the temperature is. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Hold that so we don't get sand on it. It's dropped to 80 degrees. It's 
at a 90 so it's dropped 10 degrees in 30 minutes which is pretty close to what I have seen and expected it is pretty humid out here and that's going to cut down on the final efficiency but we put it back and we'll come back in another 30 minutes and see how much it's dropped after an hour in the can all right will how long has it been been 30 minutes up to the first 30 minutes so it's been an hour yes it has. here hold this and it is to still about 80 degrees a little less but it's it's still right at 80 degrees so would it start out 90 yeah okay i think it was it went from um about 92 to 80 to now it's like 79 yeah so uh it is pretty humid out here it is in the shade and everything's kind of relative if we put it out in the sun do you think it would evaporate faster yep do you think that would make it cooler no you don't think it'll be cooler you gonna go put it out in the sun and we'll see yeah that could be something all right we're gonna move this out to the sun and come back in another 30 minutes and see if there's a difference all right we moved our pot out here to the sun touch the touch it is it drier yeah pull the lid off Hand me the thermometer. It's still about 10 degrees cooler. I think it's because of humidity. We're all just sweating like crazy over here. But we'll uh, we'll put water on it. Put it one more time. I come back in another 30 minutes. We we'll get a bucket of we'll go get a thing of water. Yeah. This is what you'd actually do as the stuff uh, evaporates out during the day. So we just put some water on it. We'll come back in another 30 minutes. Yeah. All right. Pull the... Bring me the thing. Yep, yeah, still 80, but then again, the humidity sets that it's just started raining. So anyway, we know this works a little bit. Um... But we're going to experiment some more. I've seen several people do this and get 20 degrees. But uh, we only got 10, but we got 10 all day. So anyway, till next time, you can always catch us online, www.tngun.com.